Just jumping back, you mentioned Jack and Diane there. We have to touch on that. I mean, an incredible song. It's not a, not a normal song in any way. It starts, it stops. It's got different instrumentation. The claps are in there. It's it's a very strange structured song. And and you've got the drum machine on there as well. So so take us through the, the process of, of putting that one together. And and to, to, get, to begin with, how was your feelings about working with the drum machine? Was it your choice or was it kind of something you were told that was going to happen? It wasn't my choice. Uh, I walk into the room, it was the most difficult record I've ever made in my life, and that mm -hmm. record won two Grammys and sold millions. <laughs> we spent nine weeks at Criteria Studios in, in um, you know Miami and basically walked out with not, uh, four songs. Two guys got fired. I almost got in a fist fight with John because he was being a complete idiot to me. And, um, and he, uh, I walk in one day and the co-producers got a... A, a metal box and i went hey don what's that and he goes oh this is uh the bgs are using it next door it's the newest thing it's called the lin one drum machine i went drum machine oh my <laughs> god that replaces drummers and so that was a moment where i got into i didn't realize it, it was like survival it's not fight or flight for me it was fight or fight i grabbed the machine and this is an adapter die situation yeah. perfect Perfectly adapt or die. I grab the machine, grab the manual, and I go, I'm going to be a part of this new technology. Yeah, own it. Yeah. If I'd gone and sulked and been like, God, woe is me, I wouldn't have programmed that thing. Somebody else would have programmed. So I just want to be part of it. So I get the manual and I basically program what I was playing on the drum set. But you have to remember, this is a new technology, a new sound. So, and in the air tonight with Phil Collins had already been on was already on the radio and that was exactly drum machine and drums so i program this i give it back to them it's got eight outputs the lin one had eight outputs they could bring every fader up on the board and they were mixing stuff and i'm thinking in the lounge i'm like god what's going on am i being are the drummers being replaced by machines mm -hmm. is that what's happening am i in the horse and buggy business and the car showed up <laughs> you know it's like and you're like hey guess what bye bye you know and two hours later, I get summoned into the control room. And John goes, hey, dude, we need a drum solo or a drum break right here after the second chorus. And I'm crapping in my pants. But I'd learned my lesson two years prior where I'd gotten fired. I went, I kept going, save the song, save your career. Serve the song, serve the artist, serve the band, serve the producer, serve everybody. What can I do to get this song on the record? On the record, because this song was not on the record. Oh. Cool song, very unique. It's just a kind of acoustic song. Great words, lyrics. But we had to come up with a way to arrange it and present it that had relevance. So, um, I think I we spent all day getting drum sounds because back then they put drums in vocal booths. They could control the sound better. Now John wants the biggest sound in the world. We put it in a big room, but nobody knew where to put the mics. Obviously, the close mics, the overheads. But where do you put the room mics? And then what kind of chain of EQ and compression and effects do you do? And it took all day to figure this out. Wow. Meanwhile, I'm thinking, can't be be come up with a, a, a drum part that's going to save this song. So now it's my moment. I'm crapping in my pants. And the machine's going, goose, goose, goose. Bam, boosh, doosh, doo. Bam, boosh, doosh, doo. Kablam! Kick drum on the and of three, flam on the snare drum on four, and I stopped. And I looked in the control room to get some validation. And I had nine guys going like this. So that's 18 thumbs. <laughs> so... You know, my first thought was, I still got my job. That's what I thought. <laughs> so then I thought, well, everybody goes down the drums. I'm going to go up the drums. So I was mimicking what the bass drum was doing, which is one, two, three, four, uh, 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 four, one, uh, uh, four. And I hit a dead end. Those all, nope. John asked me to come in. Cortisol levels go up, adrenaline goes up. I'm scared I'm going to be fired again. And I got half the people telling me what to do and half the people telling me not what to do. Suddenly light off, a light went off in my head. I went, it's up to you, buddy. It's all on you to save your career. I walked out to the big room. I looked at the drums. I went, this is like the World Series. And you're up to bat. 
You hit a home run, you're the hero. You strike out, you're the loser. That's the way I looked at it. So I'm 40 feet away from my dorm. I'm going, what are you going to play, Kenny? I'm 30 feet. I like, I don't know. I'm like 20 feet, dude. This is your career. 10 feet. I don't know what I'm going to play. I get to the drums. I put my headphones on. I'm looking at them. Look at the drums. And all of a sudden, thank God, a light went off in my head. I went, look, I have no idea what to do different. So why don't you use what you've already been doing? And in a nutshell, I took that beat that I was playing. I went up the tom-toms, but instead of starting on one, I moved the whole thing over one-eighth note. I don't know why I came up with that. Maybe it was from all the drum books I was working out of. But I went one, two, three, four, one, uh, uh, uh. And by the time I got there, John's hitting talk back, hit a cymbal. One, two, three, uh, one, two, three, boom, blam, uh, 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 ba-doom, hit the cymbal. Now I'm at the top of the room, I just said, I'm going to take what Phil Collins used, <laughs> ran out of drums, so I put it, made a triplet, ba boom, 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 touchdown. Everybody loved it. Mick Ronson from David Bowie's band was in there watching us record. He's a friend of John's. He suggested that Kenny keep playing a beat and let everybody sing some sort of a cappella thing. So let it rock, so let it roll, let the Bible Belt come save my soul. So let it rock, so let it, it was this big anthem thing. So I didn't even hear that. John just said, come on, keep playing a beat. So I started by playing 16th notes on the hi-hat and going do to god do god do to god he goes too much hi-hat that was his way of talking scream at you too much hi-hat so i went all right mofo and i didn't play any hi-hat said play some hi-hat so <laughs> i had been listening to steve gad playing on a chick korea album mm -hmm. and a song called lenora and he was doing this thing we go and he hit the floor tom on beat four that's why i came up steve gad playing with a jazz artist influenced me to come up with boom but that doom boom floor tom and snare so when i played the hi-hat on three e and uh it opened up boom but that boom scum boom but that boom scum boom but that doom gun gum touchdown i didn't even hear the end result till the song was done mastered and recorded it was this mammoth thing so i'm just grateful the song got on the record mm -hmm. now back then they released the first single back then what they do is they play all the songs on top 100 radio and people call up to yeah i like that song and people can call up and voice their opinion and they start rating People wanted Hurt So Good. They released Hurt So Good. Hurt So Goes flying up the charts, hits number two. For six weeks, we couldn't beat out either the Tiger. But, you know, Rocky Rocky One was out. So yeah. the movie is selling the record, the record selling the movie. So there's no way we're going to beat out either the Tiger. So they, st they start seeing that Jack and Dine is testing so high. Everybody likes that song. They'll play it specifically in certain markets maybe New York, Seattle, Boston, whatever. Tests are so high, they release it as the second single as Jack and Diane goes down to three and four. Release Jack and Diane. Now, we're like, really? That's your next single? Jack and Diane goes flying all the way, hits number one, hurts so good, goes back up. Now we got two songs in the top 10. We're all over MTV. Next thing you know, on Saturday Night Live, you know, all the TV shows, Solid Gold, uh, you know, uh, Dick Clark, you name it, we were on it. SCTV up in Canada. John's career completely blows up. My career is launched. Who, who's that drummer? And the room I was in at Chateau Marmont Hotel on Sunset when I got fired two years ago, I was in that same room when that song went to number one. Wow. And here's... Here's what I did. I celebrated for two seconds, and then I went, holy shit, I'm not number one. I got to do it again. 
How am I going to do it again? He hasn't written a song yet. I got to wait for John to write a song, and then I got to come up with a great drum part to prove that I'm a great drummer. That was what's in my mind. It's like a running back in football. They get a touchdown, they're immediately like, I need to do this again to show people that I'm really good. It's not like a one-off deal. So I never, I never bought that number one thing. I was grateful, uh, but I was like, I got to do it again. What's next? What do I do? I need to practice. How can I get better? You know, I have a saying, it goes like this. I'll never be as great as I want to be, but I'm willing to spend my entire life trying to be as great as I can be. I mean, that's just like a, it's like a running back in football. They don't score touchdowns every time they get the ball. Sometimes they do. Sometimes five yards, sometimes zero. Sometimes minus two, sometimes fumble. Sometimes they break their leg in preseason and they're out. But they come back because they love football i'm a running back in the music business i just keep going in the end zone in the end zone give me the game work right again. yeah right again. work hard go 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 yeah. and Incredible. that's how you build it. that's how you build a career